Ever since Superstorm Sandy hit last October, there have been reports, discussions, legislation, and battles over how to plan for future storms. But city planning goes on all the time, not just in a crisis. In his new book, The Planning Game, Lessons from Great Cities, former New York City Planning Commissioner and Yale University professor Alexander Garvin analyzes what works and doesn't work around the world and says there are lessons to be learned from New York's legendary builders and urban planners. What great public works projects are successful here, and which ones fail? The most successful is Central Park, running away. Everybody wants to go to Central Park. Uh, the ones that are unsuccessful are the projects that are stopped by the public. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, there were six proposed plans for Lower Manhattan, and the public said no, and they were not built. You know, when you talk about planning in New York City, you got to talk about Robert Moses, the, the titan of planning in the city's history. But you know, as time passes, uh, the massive number and scope of his works seem to be increasingly criticized. I think you have to separate different pieces of it. He built 658 playgrounds in all five boroughs of New York. That's a pretty good result. For the people who live on Long Island, there are 15 state parks, including Jones Beach, which is a wonder. And literally tens of thousands of people go there at the moment because it's summertime. So I would say his parks and parkways are a great achievement. Much of what he's criticized about is the urban renewal program uh, and the highways. He had only one urban renewal project that changed the city of New York, and that's Lincoln Center. Now, how would you compare the time of Robert Moses to today, where Mayor Bloomberg is himself kind of transforming the city? Well, it's a continuation of what has been going on in New York for more than a century and a half. We have been reclaiming our waterfront for public use. When Moses became the Parks Commissioner, there was one mile of public beach. When he left, there were 18 miles of public beach. Today, we have, in addition, the Hudson River Park, the Brooklyn Bridge Park, both of which were advanced by Bloomberg. The Brooklyn Bridge Park started under the Bloomberg administration. Mm -hmm. We are reclaiming a bikeway all the way around Manhattan. And this reclamation of the waterfront is mm -hmm. something that has been going on really since the Dutch arrived and started filling in Manhattan Island. Mm -hmm. Now, Alex, did Superstorm Sandy change your thinking about how to plan the growth of the New York metropolitan region? Not particularly. I think that it did make me stop and understand that we have to invest huge amounts of money to protect our subway system and to protect the electric power system. We cannot have people without electric power and we have to protect people from the floods. That's very important. Mm -hmm. But. The rest of the planning is still the same. I'm still in favor of having a park all along the shore of every borough. So it sounds like you'd be one of the people who would support the mayor's insistence that you have to protect uh, the waterfront. Absolutely. Not retreat. Absolutely. And much of what Bloomberg has done, I think, has been a boon mm -hmm. to the city. And, and what's your thinking about Seaport City, going into the sea rather than retreating from the, from the sea? Well, that has been in the works since the Wagner administration. There was a plan for Lower Manhattan that uh, was released during the transition between Wagner and Lindsay, and it called uh, for uh, something that ultimately became Battery Park City on one side, and on the other side, it was going to be what you called Seaport City. Right. We have had plans for that section for decades. Uh, I'm all in favor of it. I any other critical steps that planners need to take in order to ensure uh, the sustainability of our growth in this area? Yes, you need financial support. <laughs> if you don't have any money, you can't get anything done. And too often, we have plans that are proposed and nobody says how we're gonna pay for it. All right, Alex, well, thank you so much. You're very welcome.